Right, Brian, here's a video that you put up on your channel, right, with this shell. It claims to have been an ecstasy massive dealer in the past. It was probably working for the government because we all know yeah, what the most famous ecstasy pill design was, the Dove. And then we had the Pyramid Mitsubishi, don't we? You know what I mean? Make people all, make people all touchy-feely. Make the blokes get all a bit gay and start touching each other. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Atwood, that's what you dealt in, is it? MDMA. So you claim, I mean, there's no actual evidence, but is there? Now, look who he's talking to. Fucking hell, fire. Puddick, have you been on them sunbeds? Right. I don't think these places were open. You must have a sunbed of your own at home. Yeah. Because you're so vain in your stupid gay shirt with your fucking collar right undone. Look how fat you are. Look, look. What's this book here? You plug in some book. You plug in a book like they do on talk shows on BBC. Everyone listening, yeah, I'm going to show you this video now and I'm going to speed it up and I'm going to take the piss with the edit in certain parts. Yeah. I'm telling you now that this is exactly right how controlled opposition works. Look how they promote Brian. Right. They say bad things about him and stuff, but then they say, oh yeah, he was in a great band and da da da. And they kind of big him up and then big him down and big him up. It may, to try and get interest in his channel. Because you know his channel's been down for ages. And it's unpopular. And all his recent videos, yeah, are like this. With the comments turned off. So someone's got to do something, haven't they? Hey, you two. Pair of shills. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. This is an exercise in controlled opposition. Here we go. I haven't worked in the police and in covert policing and on sensitive inquiries. I worked in buildings that people didn't even know there was anything to do with the police, you know. I would go in there like this. They, they were just in, in industrial estates, you know, and they were fully, fully functioning, um, investigating um, depots. No one had any clue. The cars were registered to building companies or plumbing companies or all sorts of things, you know, so if anyone got the number plate, you know, so it, it, it's, it's clever. Hello, today I'm here with our first citizen activist exposing police corruption and no friend of Brian Harvey. <laughs> His name is Ian Puddick. Right, no. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, thank you for coming back on, John. No, no worries, thank you, yeah. sorry it's taken so long. You know, uh, it's okay. life takes over and you know what a turbulent time it's been, you know, for everyone, but also respect myself, you know, it's been uh, a roller coaster, and I say that lightly, you know. Are you enjoying the song that Brian Harvey's done about us? Brilliant, I'm touched. Effing John Wedger, <laughs> effing Sean Atwood, <laughs> effing Bill Maloney, effing Ian Puddick, they all work for the New World Order. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I know, that's his new Christmas single, isn't it, you know? Yeah, absolutely, well, he's got know. a podcast yeah. coming out, good luck with that, Brian. Yeah. Well, I looked on it, it's been out a month, and I think it's it's got a staggering amount of 938, 39 now, because I've viewed it. Is that our song? Yeah, 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 so, <laughs> well done, you know, you, you might get a thousand hits, well done. <laughs> so, I don't know when it was, about a year or so ago, people started saying to me, this guy called Brian Harvey's making videos about you. Rightly so. And I watched the videos, and this guy just ranting about me. Yeah. He's right, effing Sean Atwood, effing John Wedge, effing Ian Paddock, effing... Who's the other guy he's got it in for? Loads, there's loads. Um, yeah, Sean, uh, yourself. Bill something. Bill Maloney. Bill Maloney. Bill Maloney. Bill Maloney. Bill Maloney. Bill Maloney. Effing Bill Maloney this, effing... <laughs> then he started saying... That I was working for the New World Order. Which is true. <laughs> and that's how far right with this guy, I'm gonna Google him. I saw that he was a famous... Yeah, in a huge. famous band. Yeah, huge. Yeah, huge. E G17. Yeah, massive. And um, he'd run over himself or something. Yeah, I believe so. It looks, it's, it's, it looks really sad. I, I thought, having lived with people who suffered, Seeing the suffering of, of people with addiction issues and mental health issues, I thought this is really sad. It's very sad. Because he's talented, he's really talented. Yeah. He's very yeah. talented. 
But why the hell is energy? He... If he put his energy into... And I, and I think, and I had a conversation with him back in, I think it was Feb, end, of Jan, end of January this year or Feb, beginning of February. I had a conversation with him because he accuses me of all sorts of nonsense. Um, I um, I said to him that, you know, I believe, because he makes videos about him being hacked by News of the World. And, and from, from what he shows, I think he probably was. I think he probably was. But unfortunately, the, the conspiracy to hack him 10 years ago or whenever it was by News of the World now involves the Queen and me, you, and all sorts of nonsense. Whereas if he just concentrated on, maybe if, he's gonna, he wants, if he feels really strongly about that, and he does, and, and understandably so, um, do something about that and just focus on getting that right. And also put some energy into his music. He always talks about his music career and he's very talented. So do it. Don't talk about it. Do it. Do it.